Everybody's got their backpacking checklist that they need to check off before they head out into the wilderness. And I have five pieces of gear that are going to make the difference for your backpacking trip. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe to our channel and make sure that you are sticking around for all of our amazing tip videos so that you are getting the most out of your backpacking experience. I'm Eric Hansen, this is Backpacking TV, and without further ado, I present to you the top five pieces of gear that you need to make your backpacking trip epic. Just to set things straight, I'm not going to be talking about some of the most obvious things that are important for every backpacking trip. Your tent, your sleeping bag, your backpack, those are very important pieces of gear for backpacking, but it's a little too obvious and that'd be cheating on my end, so I'm not going to be talking about those things. These are kind of the more under the radar, the things that you're not going to think about right off the bat that make your backpacking trip special. Okay, so let's get rid of this. We're not talking about a sleeping bag. We are, however, going to be talking about still something that I'm truly passionate about, and that is your sleeping mattress. This is still, while it does kind of fall into the category of an obvious item, it is so overlooked by most people that I think that I just can't stand going and talking about other things. I must take a moment to talk about the importance of a good sleeping mattress. So most people do not like backpacking or camping because they don't sleep great. And even if they're willing to tolerate bad sleep, they still are tolerating bad sleep. And that to me doesn't have to be the case. So sleep great throughout the night with a wonderfully comfortable sleeping mattress. Uh, when I switched over from the Z lights and those little foam pads, my backpacking life was changed and I started getting quality sleep throughout the night. So this here is the Comfort Plus from Sea to Summit. The Comfort Plus is a four season sleeping mattress that might be overkill sometimes. It doesn't have to be this model, but I'm just talking about sleeping mattresses in general. But the main thing is, is that it has two chambers of air. So one that's against the ground, that's the cold air. One that's against their body, that's the warm air. And that thickness will actually give you a soft cushion so that your arms and limbs and legs and hips are not falling asleep and being super uncomfortable where you're constantly having to roll throughout the night, change your position so that you can actually sleep. This will make a difference and you will sleep great and you will enjoy the rest of your backpacking experience. Next item on my checklist of top things that everybody needs is a good puffy jacket. Now down or synthetic jackets, kind of doesn't matter, up to you, uh, is a critical piece of backpacking gear. It keeps you warm when it's cold, it keeps you comfortable at a bunch of different temperature ranges, and it's light and it packs down to a tiny, tiny size. So it's always worth cramming a down jacket into your pack. It's light and it takes up no space, so take one with you. The next piece is related and I'm lumping it in together and that is a good rain jacket. Everybody needs a good rain shell. It is a super critical safety piece of gear that everybody needs to have. When weather changes, if rain comes in, snow comes in, things happen out in the wilderness and you need to be able to protect yourself. So do yourself a favor, stay safe out there, bring a rain jacket with you. We've now moved into the kitchen segment of the tip video. And my favorite thing that I really recommend is a good quality backpacking stove. Now, it doesn't have to be a jet boil. There's lots of set systems out there, but a one pot system is really awesome. And I have come to truly love them. I started out with the, the big kind of elaborate stove systems. And now I have fallen in love with this kind of one pot stove system. The biggest thing is that it's super efficient on water boiling, and that means faster food times, faster coffee. That's critical. So also it can double up as a water treatment if you happen to need it. Uh, it can be efficient to turn snow into water if you're in those types of conditions. And really it is, if you just need to be plowing through water for a group, cooking backpacking meals, those types of things, and you need to be doing a lot of water prep, this type of stove system will do the trick for you. I also have liked enjoy, I, I also have enjoyed starting to actually cook inside of a jet boil, and it can be done, and there are some great one-pot meals out there. So it's diverse, it's capable of doing a lot of things. I love having a jet boil with me at all times. Next on the list is water treatment. Treating your water is super important in staying safe in the backcountry when you don't know what kind of conditions are existing in the water. 
bacteria, protozoa, those types of things, they want to do you harm and you need to stay safe out there. So I have come across Grail. This is my preferred water treatment system, although there are other options. But water treatment, making sure that you have a safe way, safe way to access clean drinking water is super important. Now, what do I like about the Grail is that this doubles up as a water bottle. It's an actual filter. It filters out viruses. I can take this internationally. It is an amazing way to reduce my plastic consumption and it just cleans water no matter what you do. So it's a super handy system. I love it, it's convenient. And then as soon as you pump it, now you just have water in your bottle, ready to go and carry with you. And to me, it's just the most convenient system that I have found and I really like it. So water filtration is super critical. There are other things that you can do. You can always use iodine tabs. You can use your traditional pump system. You can use things like the Guardian purifier. There's lots of great options out there, but for cost, this is less than a hundred bucks. And for its actual utility and convenience, this is the way to go for me. Here's a bright idea. Make sure that you bring a headlamp with you. Illumination for the nighttime is super important. Now, it's often an easily missed item that people don't bring with them. I have been victim to this myself where I have just straight up forgotten to bring a headlamp and then I'm fumbling around just relying upon my phone or other people to guide me in the night. And uh, that's not a fun situation and it's also can be a dangerous situation. So make sure that you bring a good quality headlamp with you. When it comes to buying a headlamp, here's a couple things that I like to think about. This particular model from Coast has rechargeable batteries. I love being able to use rechargeable batteries so I'm not just plowing through AAAs, but it does take AAAs. So if I run out of batteries or if this runs out when I'm on a trip, I can still plug in some AAAs and that is awesome to have too. And then also making sure that you have red light capabilities. I'm not sure if you can see that right now, but having a red light for at night in a tent, uh, it actually does a really awesome thing and it doesn't affect your night vision like this white light does. So having a red light will keep bugs away. It will allow you to keep seeing the stars and uh, you can read by it, things like that. So having a good quality headlamp that you're excited about that doesn't plow through batteries and is reliable, bring one with you every time. Now I know what you might be thinking. Eric, you've already done five items. Well, my friends, I've got some good news for you because I present to you a b -b -b bonus sixth item. And that, my friends, is a comfort item. Now, when it comes to backpacking, it is important to be comfortable and uh, no greater way to do that than at the end of a long day to take off your stanky boots that you've been sweating in and blistering in, hopefully not too much, and put on a nice, comfortable pair of camp shoes. I love something light like Sanooks. They're super comfortable to bring with me. A really basic pair of flip-flops is great. Just something that you can switch it up at the end of the day, I think is really important. will go a long way to keep you comfortable. Next, I think comfort items. I want a good coffee mug so that I can be enjoying that cup of joe all the time. Having a good coffee cup that you're excited about with whatever, it can double up as a meal cup as well. Having a good cup with you, I love and backpack with all the time. And last but not least, my comfort item is food related and I always bring it with me, peanut butter. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'll say it till the day I die. Having peanut butter with you on the backpacking trail is like a little hug from mama and I always want to have a scoop of peanut butter with me pretty much at all times of day. I've already had like six scoops today, just, uh, just out here filming around. So bring your comfort items, find what that is for you, and make sure that you are comfortable when you're out on the trail and backpacking. Okay, that's it. That's my top five slash six items for enjoying your backpacking experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, stick around for more. Our tips are blowing minds and changing people's worldviews, and uh, we've got more to come. I'm Eric Hansen, this is Backpacking TV. See you later. <laughs>
Does anybody have some water?